Hello everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be discussing the point-slope form of a line. So the point-slope form of a line is useful when we are given a point and we're given a slope of a line and we're trying to determine what line has that point and that slope. So let's say that we have the slope of 2 and the slope is usually referred to as m and we have a point on the line equal to 1 4 and so our 1 4 is really just our x1 y1 and from this information we're going to determine what the line is that has the slope of 2 and has the point 1 4 on the line so we simply just plug it into the point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So our y1 is simply our right-hand side of the point, our 4. And then that's equal to m, our slope, which was given to be 2, multiplied by x minus x1. So x is just x, and x1 is the left-hand side of our point, which is a 1. So then all we need to do is we need to distribute the 2 into the parentheses and then move that 4 to the other side once we've got that. So 2 times x gives us 2x and 2 times negative 1 gives us negative 2 and that's equal to the left hand side which is y minus 4. And to get rid of this minus 4 we add a 4 to each side. So minus 4 plus 4 and 2x minus 2 and then we add a 4 to that side as well. So a minus 4 and a positive 4 cancel giving us 0. So this becomes y equals 2x and then we have a minus 2 and a plus 4. Positive 4 take away 2 gives us a plus 2. And that tells us what our line is. So this is the equation of a line in slope intercept form. And because we derived it from the point slope form, it tells us that this line has the point 1, 4 on it and has a slope of 2. So just to recall from last lesson, the slope intercept is y equals mx plus b, and m is our slope, which was 2, so that corresponds to be correct because we have a 2 here and we have an m here, m equals 2 x is x. Our b is where it crosses the y-axis, so if we were to graph this line, we start at the origin and we go up two units in the y direction. And if you're unfamiliar with what I'm doing, see my last tutorial about the slope-intercept form of a line, and I'll explain what I'm doing in that tutorial. But we go up two units in the, b, in the y direction because our b equals 2, and then the m tells us our slope is 2, and 2 is really the same thing as 2 divided by 1, which is our change in y divided by our change in x. So we know that the b is a point on our line, which lies on the y-axis. Then we just need to go up two units in the y direction from there, so 1, 2. And we need to go over one unit in the x direction from there, so x, one unit here. So up 2, 1, 2, over 1 in the x. And what do you know? This is the point 1, 4. So the point 1 force falls on this line and we're able to sketch it really quickly like that using the slope intercept form now. So I started with a slope and a point on the line and from that I used the point slope form to derive what the line looks like in slope intercept form and then from the slope intercept form of the line I was able to do a quick sketch of our line. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. You can see all my tutorials at learnmathtutorials.com. And uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.